Over a decade ago, a devastating epidemic began reshaping the marine ecosystem along the Northeast Pacific coast. Sea star wasting disease quickly spread across over 20 species, resulting in the loss of billions of sea stars. One of the species that was hardest hit was the sunflower star, which is now listed as critically endangered. With fewer sunflower stars, sea urchin populations grew rapidly and overgrazed kelp forests, leading to significant losses of our essential kelp forest ecosystems. For years, the scientific community has been on a mission to identify what's behind this disease. And after extensive research and controlled experiments, scientists now have a major breakthrough. Along with our many partners, Hakai researchers conducted experiments with 117 sunflower stars, exposing some to the water and fluids of sea stars affected by sea star wasting disease. The result? Every exposed star developed signs of the disease, while the control group remained unaffected. When I started on this project a couple years ago, I really was excited to do some good work and hopefully contribute knowledge and kind of move the, the field forward. Uh, but I wasn't expecting to, to get such conclusive evidence as we, we got. The results completely blew me away. It was not at all what we thought was actually gonna end up being the causative agent. Using advanced genetic tools, scientists identified a possible suspect, Vibrio pectenicida a bacterial species found consistently in diseased sea stars, but absent in healthy ones. Not only did they find this bacteria in the lab, but field samples from wasting stars in Alaska and British Columbia also contained Vibrio pectenicida, confirming its presence in natural outbreaks of sea star wasting disease. To confirm that Vibrio pectenicida was the cause, Scientists grew it separately in a lab, and when sea stars were exposed to it, they showed clear signs of wasting disease. This research is groundbreaking. By pinpointing Vibrio pectenicida as a causative agent of sea star wasting disease, we now have a clearer path to protect and restore both sunflower star populations and the precious kelp forests they help sustain. The work that the Hakai Institute and the University of Washington have done to identify the pathogen that causes sea star wasting disease means that we're one step closer to recovery, recovery of these critically important kelp forest ecosystems.